Good morning, football fans. This is your boy, Jim Catcher305, back again to continue my series on the top five positions in the NFL. Today, we got the we got the top five outside linebackers in the NFL. Uh, we have a mixture. We have uh, 34, 34 linebackers, and we also have 43 linebackers. And, and, and what I mean by 34, you have three defensive linemen, four linebackers. 43 is four D linemen, three linebackers. Uh, we have a mixture of the both. So... Feel free to drop your comments below and let me know your top five outside linebackers in the NFL. And by the way, don't don't pay attention to the bucket. I know it's the Dolphins. It's still fly you. fly to the day I die, you feel me? But today, I just, I, I just felt the need. Since I'm doing the NFL team, my mind as well put my bucket on, you know. It goes it, it goes along with the topic. NFL, NFL, hey. <laughs> Let's get into it now. Coming in at number one, you got that, 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 that dog. That monster, <laughs> three-time All-Pro, seven-time All, uh, seven-time Pro Bowler. In his eight-year career, he only missed the Pro Bowl once. This guy, he's also a Super Bowl champ. He's magnificent. The the best DN, excuse me, the best outside linebacker in in the NFL. Also, he plays in a 34, 34 front. Uh, Von Miller, since he's been in the league, he's just been wrecking quarterbacks, uh, offensive tackles, getting to the getting to the quarterback. And just making plays. That defense, that Denver defense is a whole totally different when Vaughn get to going. Sometimes he don't even have to he don't even have to be the one to make the play on the ball. It's just his presence alone on the field draw attention where you have to double team him, double team him, or you have to chip him and then pick up your block because he's that he's that disruptive. But uh in 2015, which was his Super Bowl winning season. He had one PBU, four forced fumbles, three of them, which one he's he recovered. So he's getting the ball out and he, he recovered his own fumbles. That's great. That's great to have. Uh, he had 11 sacks, 30 solo tackles, five assist tackles, which equals out to 35 total, nine TFLs, 32 QB hits. Getting in the backfield, getting punishing the quarterback every time he throw the ball with 32 QB hits. He makes sure the, he makes sure the quarterback feel him. So you you love to have that from that guy. In 2016, he had three PBUs, three forced fumbles, 13 and a half sacks, 62 solo tackles, 16 assist tackles, which equals to 78 total tackles, 13 TFLs, 24 QB hits. Once again, getting to the quarterback, getting behind the line of scrimmage, tackling the running back behind the line of scrimmage, punishing the quarterback once again, three forced fumbles, 13 and a half sacks. I, you need that coach. You need that guy, coach. 13 and a half sacks. The number, nothing but remarkable. In 2017, had three PBUs, two forced fumbles. One of them he uh, he recovered. 10 sacks, 51 solo tackles, six assist tackles, which equals to 57 total tackles. 17 20 TFLs, 23 QB hits. Every word, consistency. Consistency. That's why he's the best uh, outside linebacker in the NFL because he rushes. He rushes the passer. He uh, he he get forced fumbles. He recover them. He get PBUs. He get uh, his bad past two seasons in 2016 and 2017. 13 and a half sacks, 10 sacks. Everything you want in, a, in everything you want in the outside linebacker. 2018, he had one pick, three PBUs, four forced fumbles. Uh, three of them he recovered 14 and a half sacks 29 solo tackles 19 assists with equals to 48 total tackles 14 tfls 26 qb hits that's greatness and i and like i mentioned he's a seven-time pro bowler he's been in the league for eight years so he only missed one year without being a pro bowler that's greatness written all over it it's getting to the quarterback making plays behind the line of scrimmage hitting the quarterback uh, <laughs> getting forced fumbles, recovering them. He's he's just a he's a playmaker on that defensive side of the ball. So I I can understand why that defense is a whole different defense once Vaughn is on the field and he's he's effective and he's making plays. But when I turn on his film, I get a guy that's that get after it. Got a motor like like no other. <laughs> he dislodged the ball from receivers, running backs, tight ends. It don't matter who it is. He makes sure he get the ball out of there. And, and nine times out of ten, he's going to recover his own forced fumble. So that's that's greatness uh, 
that's that's greatness right then and there. At number two, I don't understand how the hell Khalil Mack, man. I don't. I still don't understand how the hell Oakland can get rid of this man. This is a a beast at linebacker. He playing the thirty four front with the with the Chicago Bears now. So so he's dropping back into coverage. Four uh, four time Pro Bowler, three time All Pro. In 2016, he was the defensive player of the year. Uh, that's that. That's the year he played DN. Um, Mac Daddy is what they call him. <laughs> they call him Mac Daddy. So he 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 make plays all over the field, man. In 2015, he had two PBUs, two forced fumbles, 15 sacks, 57 solo tackles, uh, 20 assists, 20 assist tackles, which equals to 77 total tackles, 23 TFLs, 24 QB hits. Whew. Jesus, Jesus, woo woo, 23 TFLs, you need that coach, 15 sacks, he giving you everything you, everything you need, punishing the quarterback, 15 sacks, 57 solo tackles, 23 TFLs, getting behind the line of scrimmage, beating blocks, getting off double teams, still making plays behind the line of scrimmage, 2016, which was his uh, defensive player of the year award, he had one pick, he took it to the crib, Three PBUs, five forced fumbles, three fumble recoveries, eleven sacks, fifty-four solo tackles, nineteen assists, which equals to seventy-three total tackles, fourteen TFLs, twenty-six QB hits. Whew, jeez, jeez. Twenty seventeen, he had three PBUs, one forced fumble, which which he recovered, ten and a half sacks, sixty-one solo tackles, seventeen assist tackles, seventy-eight, which equals to seventy-eight total tackles. 15 TFLs, 22 QB hits. And in 2018, he had one pick, which he took to the crib, four PBUs, six forced fumbles, two fumble, which two of them he recovered, 12 and a half sacks, 37 solo tackles, 10, in the, 10 assists, 47 total, 10 TFLs, and 18 QB hits. Oh my gosh. If, if, if that's not greatness, I... I I don't I don't know what that I don't know what greatness is then. When I turn on when I turn on uh Khalil Mack film, you see a guy once again with a relentless motor. Him and Von Miller have that relentless motor where they going to get it. It don't matter what it is. And I can understand why they call him Mac Daddy now. They call him Mac Daddy because he macking at them quarterbacks <laughs> all day long, all game long. And we can see it in the sacks and and in the QB hits. 2015 he had 15 sacks 2016 he had he had 11 sacks 2017 he had 10 and a half 2018 he had he had 12 and a half he always had double digit assists so he's macking at these quarterbacks now ain't, ain't, ain't no ain't ain't no ain't no thing about it he mad he's macking at him and also when i turn on his film i see a guy that got quick hands and quick feet also he's strong as hell seeing him literally one hand like this, he extended and threw the guy on the ground and then went went after the quarterback. So quick hands, quick feet, and he's strong as I don't know what. He make plays. <laughs> and number three, we got Anthony Barr. He playing the 43. He playing a traditional uh 43 defense. Uh he's a four-time pro bowler. He hold it down for the Vikings, man. He hold it down at the outside backer. He make plays all over the ball, all over the field, excuse me. In 2015, he had one pick, seven PBUs, three forced fumbles, three and a half sacks, 54 solo tackles, 14 assist tackles, which equals to 68 total tackles, four TFLs, eight QB hits. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, pretty good numbers. 2016, he had four PBUs, one forced fumble, which he recovered, two sacks, 37 solo tackles, 33 assist tackles, which equals to 70 total tackles. Three TFLs, eight QB hits. Pretty good 2016 season. I would like to see him get a little bit more sacks. Uh, but he is that traditional. He's dropping off. He's dropping back in the coverage. He's not like the 34 uh, linebacker where his where he's he's a stand up defensive end, pretty much a stand up defensive end where he can either uh, drop back in coverage or rush the quarterback. But in 2017, he had six PBUs, one sack, 75 total tackles, 52 solo tackles, 23 assists, uh, nine TFLs, and four QB hits. 
pretty good game behind the line of scrimmage, hitting the quarterback, making sh- making sure he paid he paid for it every time he every time he touched every time he threw the ball. In 2018, he this past season he had two PBUs, one forced fumble, three sacks, 39 solo tackles, 16 assist tackles, which equals to 55 total tackles, eight TFLs, and four QB hits. Once again, pretty good numbers uh, in, in his last four years. He he has a, when I turn on his film, I see a guy that drop back in coverage, make plays on the ball, uh, come downhill. He 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 come downhill. Love to see that from him. He shoot the gaps very hard and aggressive, and he just he, he just get after it. And number four, Jadavian Clowney, man, he's he's a beast. He he comes in. He's a thirty four. He he plays in a thirty four system. Where he's mainly uh, used as a DN, but he do stand up and drop back into coverage, and he started well in, in that 34 system, and he's been a pro bowler in the last three seasons. So he's just been he's just been getting better and better and better each and every year. But in 2015, he played in 13 games. He had six PBUs, four and a half sacks, 27 solo tackles, 13 assists, which equals to 40 total, eight TFFs, eight QB hits, and that was his second year in the league. And he made he made plays. His, he made a lot of plays his second year in the league. Um, in 2016, he had two PBUs, one forced fumble, six sacks, 40 solo tackles, 12 assist tackles, which equals to 52, 16 TFLs, 17 QB hits. That's the Jadavian Clowney that I know. That's the Jadavian Clowney that I know. 16 TFLs, 17 QB hits. I would like to see a little bit more sacks, but. But it, it is what it is. 16 TFLs getting behind the line of scrimmage, making plays, making sure the running back don't gain yards. He he gets stopped, making sure the quarterback get punished every time he throw the ball. In 2017, he had two PBUs, two fumble, two forced fumbles. He recovered three three fumbles. He, he took one of them to the crib. Nine and a half sacks, 41 solo tackles, 18 assist tackles, which equals to 59 total tackles, 21 TFLs, 21 QB hits. I love that. I love that. Uh, I sound like I, I sound like Kirk Cousins a little bit. You like that? You like that? I love that season that he put together in 2017. I like. I love that season. Two fumble recoveries. Uh, excuse me. Two first fumbles. Three fumble recoveries. One of them he took to the crib. Nine and a half sacks. 52, 50, Excuse me. Fifty nine total tackles. Twenty one TFLs. Twenty one QB hits. You all over the field for me. I love two PBUs, by the way. I can't can't discredit that. He's all over the field. I love to see that. 2018, he had one PBU, one forced fumble, three fumble recoveries. One of them he took to the crib again. Nine sacks, 38 solo tackles, nine assist tackles, which equals to 47 total tackles, 16 TFLs, 21 QB hits. Great season. Once again, I would love to see a little bit more PBUs and, and, and some more sacks, but... He made up for it by having three fumble recoveries. He took it to the crib. He had 16 TFLs, 21 QB hits. Getting behind the line of scrimmage, making plays on the ball. Also, when I turn on his film, he's nasty. I love I love watching J- Jadavian Clowney. I love watching him. His film now when he's in the league. Him and, him and J.J. Watt on that D-line, they make noise together. They, they make screen music. They make, they make violin music. They do their thing together. That that's a good pair, and they 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 they're striving they're striving in the right direction. But last but not least, Levante David. He uh he played in a uh he played for Tampa Bay. He played in the forty three front um this past season. Well, his entire career. But now with that uh with Bruce Arians coming in, he switched over to a three four, and I, I still believe he's going to thrive in that defense once again. But He's been productive in the last four years that he's been in the league. In 2015, he had three picks. One of them he took to the crib. 13 PBUs, two two forced fumbles, two fumble recoveries, three sacks, 85 solo tackles, 62 assist tackles, which equals to 147 total tackles, 10 TFLs, five QB hits. What a hell of a season in 2015 this guy had. What a great season this guy had. He put on display. In 2016, he had one pick. One of them he took to the crib. Four PBUs, four forced fumbles. Two of them he recovered. 
five sacks, 67 solo tackles, 20 assist tackles, 87 total tackles, which equals to 87 total tackles, 17 TFLs, 8 QB hits. Once again, another great season. Another great season this guy put, a, put, put on display. And he looking like a little DB out there taking these picks to the crib. Now, nah, I love to see that. Also, we have a forced fumbles. Two of them he recovered. Uh, just, just good, just good things that was on display. In 2017, he had one PBU, five forced fumbles. Every last forced fumble he had, he recovered himself. That is great. One of them he took to the crib. 76 solo tackles, 25 assist tackles, which equals to 101 total tackles, eight TFLs, three QB hits. A great season. A great season all over the field I would love to see a little bit more PBUs but all over the field as far as getting behind the line of scrimmage get dislodging the ball from the opponent getting it back to your offense one of them took, he put points up on the board so that's a plus so that would allow him to uh, 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 make it into the category as one of the best linebackers outside linebackers in the league in 2018 he had two PBUs one, one forced fumble, two fumble recoveries, three and a half sacks, 94 solo tackles, 26 assist tackles, which equals to 120 total tackles, 13 TFLs, seven QB hits. A hell of a season that he put together this past season. A hell of a season. And he's teamed up with Quan Alexander. Those two, they do damage together. But when I tell uh, my takeaway from his film, he's played fast, physical, and smart. He uses his speed and his quickness to his advantage, so he can get past block. So he can get past blocks, whether it's run block or pass block. He uses his speed and quickness as his advantage. He has a knack for the ball. He's uh, three picks, uh, three picks in 2015, a pick, one pick in in 2016, two forced fumbles in 2015, four four forced fumbles, five forced fumbles in 2017, 2016. He had four forced fumbles. Forced fumble, so he have a knack for the ball, and and he's just gonna continue to get better. Him and Quan Alexander is, is gonna continue to thrive together, and I love to see, and I'm going to love to see what Bruce Arians gonna do. But this your boy Dream Catcher Theo Five. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment.